Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Before we get on to this week's topic, the customary thing, in case you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much. And in case you haven't, do click on the subscription button and bell button for instant notifications of career and parenting related videos on a regular basis. Now, yesterday I was going through the Hindu newspaper from my home and I found an article to be very, very interesting, which I thought I should show it to you. This is that article. This uh, says about, it's a full page article and it says about the growing private aviaries in India and Tamil Nadu, especially in Tamil Nadu and also across the country. So private aviaries, what is private aviaries? It's nothing but, you know, growing of private bird sanctuaries. Uh, it's, it's sounding a little bit interesting, right? Because we all know that bird sanctuary would be maintained by the government, would be developed by the government because maintaining and developing of private sanctuary, a bird sanctuary is not that easy, right? But then there are growing private bird sanctuary. And that made me think that, uh, you know, do a very small research on how do we make a career out of this and that found that had interesting insights, I should say, and that exactly what we have taken. So if you are a bird watcher, if you are a wildlife enthusiast, if you are someone who is interested, you know, in conserving the wildlife, particularly conserving uh, the birds and bad bird habitats, then this video is for you with over 10,000 species that are existing, that are coexisting today. Birds are definitely inevitable, right? It's a part of our life. It's a, it's a part of our everyday experience. And therefore, I thought uh, there, there is a career associated with it. And we thought we will discuss it. The topic that we have taken is related to that. And the topic that we have, we have taken is careers in ornithology. So ornithology, I'm sure most of us, uh, you know, might not have heard. So what is ornithology? Ornithology is, is a science discipline. It is a branch of zoology. So let us be clear. It's a branch of zoology that deals with the study of birds. So ornithologists who study ornithology are called ornithologists. They study every aspect of bird, right? From breeding to the cuckoo songs, that the humming songs that they, uh, you know, that they sing. They also study those patterns. They study the flight patterns. How do they fly? They, they study the physical appearance of every bird. And then they also study the all important migratory pattern of birds. We all would have heard at some point in time, right? We got birds from Russia. We got birds from Australia. So this is migratory during the season it comes. So they also study that. So ornithology in short deals with any bird. It could start with the tiniest bird on earth. Uh, to an extra large emu, we call it emu bird. So it deals with any and every kind of bird, including the hummingbird. So all these uh, categories fall under, you know, ornithology. So what do ornithologists do? What are the general jobs that they do? They not only study about birds, but they do a lot of things. We will see they at first they conduct surveys, you know, like the way the census happens for human beings. The bird census also happens and who better to do it's the ornithologist uh, who has to do so they conduct surveys they study avian systems it's a very important aspect as a as a, as a ornithologist that you study avian systems aviation systems i will come to it you know at, at some point in time in this video but it's an important career they also monitor the bird species right uh, they also monitor the uh, status and trends of bird population it's important that we coexist that's what i call coexisting with species and animals is very very important so these people monitor the trends of the population they also analyze these trends they they analyze the collected data and trends they plan and conduct the bird survey and they also prepare the report so in short this is what they do uh, the ornithologists now we will see what are the types of ornithologists it's very important that we see the types the first as i told in the earlier uh, job role is that of an airport wildlife biologist now you might wonder what is airport wildlife biologist now how many times you have read in the newspaper or heard that the bird hit in an aeroplane has caused damage while takeoff or while landing yes trust me the bird hit a small bird hit in that mighty aeroplane can actually destroy the aeroplane destroy the aircraft you know that is the power of bird because when the aeroplane comes at the speed and then the bird comes 
and that heat happens, you know, it, it destroys. So this happens particularly during the takeoff or landing because beyond the point, birds cannot fly. So when the flight reaches its optimum level, there is no issue. But then during takeoff and landing, which primarily happens around the airport zone, right? Uh, it's very important that, you know, uh, these things uh, needs to be monitored. Now, as an air, airport wildlife biologist, you devise a strategy so that the birds do not get attracted to come near airports. That's what airport wildlife biologists do. Quite interesting, right? We might not even have heard about such careers, you know, that exist. And that's the beauty of right careers. That's the first one. The second career that I can think of for the types of ornithologists is aquatic biologists. As the name itself suggests, we all know that the birds come, you know, to have its prey in canal, not in canals, but in ponds, in different, you know, aquatic bodies like lake or streams or ponds. So even oceans. So as an aquatic biologist, you study, you know, how about how aquatic biology helps. I mean, bio, these these biologists they specialize in uh, aquatic environment. I would say that, that's the second type of, uh, you know, ornithologist. The third type that I can think of is bird biologist and as they say they study the importance of uh, bird in this environment you know how important birds are they undertake research on on the migratory pattern behavioral pattern of birds also that is what bird biologists do the fourth straightforward fourth type is wildlife preservatory or wildlife ecologist or ecologist we call it name itself suggests it's a very common uh, thing that we would have come across and the next kind of uh, ornithologists are definitely wildlife crime controller you would have heard about uh, you know illegal poaching illegal shooting of birds as a wildlife crime controller you are responsible for you know uh, shooting of such birds especially we have a huge community in india that only targets birds these are unofficial in nature uh, the government doesn't allow these things so as a wildlife crime controller you do this and then obviously the conservator of forests is something which you can become uh, we call it as ranger in india right so conservator of forest and there's also an ifs where you can study indian forest service now moving on to the next segment employment opportunities for ornithologists many people think that it's only restricted to wildlife but there is much much more to it you can work as an ornithologist you can work for sanctuaries you can work for wildlife centers you can work for ngos you can work for zoos you can work as an ecologist you can work as a teacher you can work as a tour guide you know ecologist tour guide we know when you go to rantam place like rantam bore every forest there is a you know tour guide you can work like that you can work as a researcher you can work for forest department i said ranger wildlife crime protector etc and then obviously the entrepreneur that has added new because growing you know uh, while uh, private while bird sanctuaries are you know on the rise you see they, they, this this particular article says they charge 200 rupees per person for entry that's a good money right for maintaining birds you, you, with your passion uh, and then you also make money out of it and this is legalized in india now the next segment how do you become an ornithologist the first thing that you have to do after your grade 10 is to take science group because this is study of biology as i said which means you got to study biology if you have a pure science group in your school physics chemistry botany zoology is ideally preferred and then you study bsc in zoology you can also study bsc in uh, you know agriculture also because agriculture also deals with some kind of animals you can also study animal science bsc animal science etc but then uh, we generally recommend students to upgrade their graduation so you can always study your masters because this is about research of bad birds which means a phd in zoology would be very very ideal if you are very very serious about this career as always in the segment the pros and cons it's a good career for someone who loves birds who loves nature it's definitely a good career uh, you protect a species i mean in, in it's, it's very, very simple. You save, like, like the way doctors save human beings, you save birds, you protect, you conserve birds. And that's a huge service that you're doing to this earth. So that's a different pro. Uh, and if you're interested in traveling, if you're interested in field work, because this involves a lot of field work, as I said, the surveying and all is very, very uh, you know, critical to this role. So, and then th this role could be, you know, uh, suitable for you. Uh, some cons, definitely, it is not as attractive and it is not as appreciated as a career in India, which is very unfortunate. Uh, like some of the other thriving careers, the traditional careers, this, this doesn't get paid well at the beginning. So you've got to be very, very conscious about it and also requires 
quite a lot of traveling and working at odd hours because birds come can be can come in the day, can come in the night. You you know better, right? So to conclude, ornithologists, if you are very very keen on preserving the earth, preserving the uh, birds and other species, then definitely you can consider ornithology as a career, provided you have an interest on birds, because this is something where you have to have a lot of deep interest and passion. And on that note, I would conclude this video uh, for this week. And in case you have any doubts. You can always ping me. All the credentials are beneath this video. And until next week, with an altogether different video, see you all. Have a safe week. Thank you.